it's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo on the Nevada State Eco Zoo. And we're going to get back to it. Uh, I'm starting pretty much right where I left off. And so we are going to get back to it and see what fun we can have today. Um, I need to get this uh, bear a little bit of a habitat. I don't know why you guys are standing there trying to watch. I mean, just come over here. I mean, it's not that hard. I don't get why it's so difficult to get people to actually go where you want them to go. It's super annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and do facility. Do that. And go to the donation box. We'll have this and that. And I'll put one. I don't know if I can put one over here. Not in the corner, anyways. Oh, almost. There we go. Not quite in the corner, but there we go. Alright, so I want to get this guy set up a little bit better. Because he's not going to be happy with us. So, let's go do habitat uh, shelter. And I really like this shelter. Is it for my tigers in the franchise and... I really like that. Super cool. Um, let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's give him an area that he can sleep in and just be more comfortable. Of course, he seems pretty comfy on the, the floor over there, but it's okay. Um, let's see. How about enrichment? So we can do the bamboo feeder. And can we do any toys? Oh, we can. Let's do this. And we got to look at the mechanic research. Ooh, let's do a tire. I haven't done these very often. But, well, I don't know why it's doing that. Why is it being all crooked? I don't know. Okay. So there we go. Let's click on the bear again. We probably need to change... The terrain, I'm guessing. Let's see. Uh, too much sand, not enough snow. Okay, so let's do terrain. Let's go for snow. They pretty much just like snow. So let's go ahead. I mean, the cooler should um, be good with getting the snow to, um, you know, to be here. Is that good? Let's see. What do they say about that? Okay, for some reason my TV in the other room came out. I don't know why. Uh, let's go. I don't, I don't know. Do we want to do soil over here? Well, it's at 100. We'll keep it there. That's fine. And I think I want to go ahead. Let's do some nature. And I'm going to take this off, I think. Nope, take this off. And let's go to rock. Let's see. I know we can add like snowy rock. Um, let's see how that looks. Okay, get 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 done with that. Come on, get out of the way. There we go. So let's just put some rock around. And maybe we could put like rock enough that. It's like something they can actually climb on. I don't know if they will, but you never know. Um, I think what I'll do is do these flat rocks and kind of have them. Well, it's flat, so I don't think I want to do that. Let's see. Let's do. Okay, I really don't want. The align to surface on. So let's turn that off. Okay. So 
So again, just hit V to turn the align to surface off if you don't want it to keep trying to align to whatever you're working around. And let's see. I don't like it. Um, obviously, it's not going to give them something to actually climb on. But um, I was thinking about maybe mixing them up and putting like some snowy rocks and some not snowy rocks, but I don't know if that's going to work very well. I'm just going to do this. I don't know if they're going to be able to climb on this. Let's check it out. If we do H, let's go to Habitat. No, they can't climb on it. Okay. Well, that kind of stinks. I was hoping they would be able to climb on it. All right, so let's go to uh, environment. We'll do tundra, taiga, and Asian. So let's do continent, Asia, and tundra, and taiga. Obviously not rocks because they don't have any rocks that fit that that uh, you know that thing. Criteria, that's what it was. <laughs> it's like there's a there's a word for it. What is it? Um, let's go ahead. I like these trees um, that are in this area. Um, I think they're super cool. Don't know if it quite makes sense that they're growing out of snow, but that's okay. It doesn't quite make sense, but I'm okay with it. Let's see. If we do like this kind of, let's hit V, V to bring it up. Just kind of put these around, and I think I may need to take some of this other stuff out, because they probably don't quite like it. But I'm just going to have this kind of come out. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to get rid of the cactus, I'm pretty sure. That doesn't quite make sense. That might be floating. Yes, it is. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Like, I don't know, is it floating or not? Alright, and then I'm going to take this out because I know it's not, he's not going to like this. Desert. Desert. Let's click on that. Oh, did we not put a food thing? Oh my goodness. Well, we put a food thing in here for him. Okay, so, come on. So there's only one thing here that they don't like. Okay. Well, that works out. All right, so let's go back to nature. So they like these uh, mossy-covered rocks. I guess we could use that. Oh, there's one of the wolves that have matured. I'm going to definitely release the, that to the wild. Okay, let's see. What do we want to change here? Oh, I don't like the small things. The small things are too small. I think. Let's add some little uh, limb, uh, trunks here. I'll say limbs. You know what I mean. The little trees without stuff on them. Okay. This little moss stuff is pretty cool, I think. All right, let's see what else is down here. I thought there was some more. I guess we got some more trees down here. So I thought there was more trees here in this, uh, you know, filter. Because I love adding trees. Trees are cool. And we have the, like, vine stuff, but I don't really care to add those, I don't think. I'm gonna add something out here so it's not just <laughs> so it's not just plain until you get to the outsides of the habitat. That's kind of weird. And I think these guys um, don't mind a lot of uh, plants. See, they have a hundred percent. Coverage, so that's cool. I like it. 
Um, let's check on. They're good on the terrain, right? Yeah, 100%. But I'm going to add soil. I think this is sand. Not quite sure, but I'm going to add soil over here. Oh no, bear saber is about to die of old age. No. All right, let's go ahead. How about that? Okay, they like the enrichments too. Um, did I not give them a food dish? Let's see. Uh, here we go. Food tray. I thought I did, but I don't see one. Let's put a food tray right there. And that probably means we didn't give them water either. We should be fired. I'm just saying. We are so mean to our animals. No, we're not. Alright. We're not mean to our animals. We just don't um, pay attention to them sometimes. <laughs> okay, that sounds mean. Uh, it's fine. We're good. We're good zookeepers. I'm pretty sure. Aww. Died of old age. No. Okay. Um, I know we've got some timber wolves that we can release. I'm pretty sure, anyways. So we've got some that, um, yeah, we've got these two. Oh, that's actually can no. Let's go ahead and release these to the wild. Okay. Get that one. Okay, so let's look at these. African buffalo is about to mature too. So we need two more habitat species in our zoo. Um reach uh thirty percent plant diversity. Okay. So what other animals do we not have in the zoo that we can get? That is the question. We don't have the saltwater or crocodile in. I wonder if... I don't think they can be with any of the other water, you know, species, can they? Or, I don't know. Solar aquarium doesn't benefit from sharing space. But could they share space? I don't know. I, I don't think so. Um, what we can do um, is go ahead and get the saltwater crocodile. We don't have the best place for them, but let's go ahead and adopt that one. Adopt that one. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over to, since we're getting two of them. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Let's see. Uh, where did I put the quarantine? I think it's over here. Oh, and I need to change ticket prices too, because they said tickets were underpriced, I think. There's so many animals about to mature, it's crazy. Okay, so let's go to our zoo. And uh, let's do... Where is the crocodiles? There we go. Go ahead and select, not that one. Select those and move them into quarantine. So for now, there's no power over here, but I think I'm gonna see if we can move them over here to this habitat. Oh, where's and, the, uh, um... Okay, I'm gonna do this. Let's go ahead. And go to zoo. We'll go to staff. And I'm gonna get some more. Oh, I was like, why is that not working? Some more keepers. And some more mechanics. Okay, and also let's go to facility. Do that. 
facility. And let's do... Um... About New World Keeper Hut large. So let's see if wow. we can get those crocodiles in here. And let's see that. Let's go for the gharials, thinking they're crocodiles. Obviously, they're a lot smaller than the crocodiles. All right, go ahead and take these guys and move them. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. That is not what we want to do. All right, let's try that again. Move them over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed up a bit. Timberwolf is about to have offspring. Awesome. Uh, what I'll do, because I, I, I slowed it down. I usually have the animal aging slowed down, but I sped it up to get the babies for the Timberwolves. So what I'll do is go back to game. We'll go to animal settings and move it back. I always have it at five just because just because I do that'll help us out a little bit so let's go ahead and make sure these guys wow that one's already pretty old actually okay let's go down and let's give them some rock over here let's make sure to give them rock under the water And then they still want more rock. Let's go ahead and take the intensity down. And I'll just kind of bring it up a little bit here. Okay, is that good? And then let's go to habitat. And we will go ahead, take that off. Let's filter that. And saltwater crocodile. I was going to go to just crocodile. I'm like, no, that's not going to work. All right, let's see. So, I don't know. Well, they have hard shelter as okay, but I don't really like this huge uh, shelter here. So, we're going to get rid of that one. And let's just give them one of these. I think this will work. And we'll just bring it down under the under the bedding that's already there. Let's make sure that's going to work. That might be too low. Okay. Uh, no, it's good. Awesome. Okay, so how about enrichment? Um, let's see what they want. Uh, we see they have this. Let's give them one of these. Put it over here. And I don't think this is something they need. I could be wrong, but that wasn't on the list here. So let's do enrichment and food. Yeah, they don't have any food enrichments. So we're going to have to go to vet research. And, man, I haven't done vet research in a while. Um, obviously, I, I don't have any of these, uh, any of these guys researched. Do crocodile. Uh, we should probably should probably do this. I totally forgot. But okay, there we go. We've got them being researched, so that should work out pretty good. Uh, let's give them a little bit more soil. I'm gonna do it over here, kind of where the keepers come in, and then where the food is, and probably under the shelter a little bit. I think that's good. Yep, everything's good. Okay. So they're good on that. Uh, they don't like these. Which is pretty much understandable. There's like nothing in there now. Okay. I'm going to move this guy over here. And we'll move this over here. They don't really need 
this water because they have you know all that water over there but I'm gonna do it anyways I don't think this is the right food dish though let's see food nope it's not I didn't think so gives them food just in time for the keeper to come in awesome all right we'll get rid of that okay and let's see oh let me click back on them and let's go to nature and they like tropical and aquatic which is none of those okay go ahead and reset that and they like oceana and asia and tropical aquatic okay cool so we'll just put i love these big big ones they're super cool i'm gonna actually turn off align to grid uh, align to surface um because i really unless you're trying to get something back up to the surface after moving like say if you move a big tree underneath the ground to uh bury it and then you go to do something else it's really hard to get uh to get that back up to where you want it so i just hit v and it, it helps out a lot and sometimes with these sometimes it's nice to have them kind of turning in towards the water so i'll sometimes keep it, the align to surface on for that but that's about it let's see Okay, I don't want those anymore. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, and we have these uh, red flower things. I really like these. These are cool. Alright, and let's see. I want to do like some, some kind of a, again, a privacy screen for this. I uh, don't want that. That was way too big. Dangerous fighting. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second so I can get this done. If I don't pause, I just get sidetracked and then I don't remember what I was doing. It's really a problem for me. It happens. All right, let's see. Oh, we got the plant diversity. Yay, awesome. All right, that's cool. And we can also, again, do where we kind of bury it down into the ground to make more of a kind of a bush type thing. Which I like. I think that's cool. Alright. There we go. I think that's nice. Okay. So I think that's where we're going to end for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, definitely check those out down below. And the link for the Steam Store page as well as the link for the Planet Zoo page is down there. So check it out if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, leave those down below in the comment section. Love seeing those, and I'll get, we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And until next time, I hope you have a super blessed day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!